Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will learn how to download and install Escape Server on Windows 11. So we will do it in the easiest way possible. So we will go to Chrome, open it, and here we will search Escape Server 2022 download. We will go to this first link. If we go down here, we have two versions of Escape Server: Express version and the developer version. Both are free, but we have some limitation in this Express version. You cannot create a large size database in this, but you can create a large size database in the developer version. But you can use the Express version and production environment, and you can't use the developer version and production environment. As you can see here, non-production environment. As we are using it for development purposes, so we will click on this download of this developer version. Now it has started downloading the installer. Now I'll go to the show in folder. I will double click on this installer to. Open it. So now the installer is open. Here we have basic installation. We have custom installation and download media. The download media means that SQL Server will be downloaded first, and then you can install it. We will go with basic installation. So I'll click on this here. I will accept the agreement and license. Now it will install SQL Server on this C program files and Microsoft SQL Server. You can browse it from here to change the directory, but I will leave it as it is, and I will install now. It is downloading the files. You have to be patient because the installation can take a lot of time. It depends on your internet speed. So the download is successful. So it is installing now. So the installation is complete. So this is the connection string. You can connect SQL Server with other programming languages with this connection string. This is the log folder here. The log for SQL Server is stored, and this is the installation media folder, and this is the installation resources folder. I can click on this connect now to connect to SQL. Server. If I click this, so now you can see one row affected. So you can connect to SQL Server through this SQL command. But we will use the graphical user interface, which is a SSMS SQL Server Management Studio. So I'll close this, and you can see here install SSMS. So I'll click on this, and it will take me to the browser. And and now you can see here SQL Server Management Studio. We will go down, and here it is. We can click on this to download SSMS. Now it has started downloading. It will take some time. So now SSMS. SMS is downloaded, so I'll go to the show in folder. Double click on this. So the installer is open. Click on this install. And yes, SSMS is successfully installed. I'll close this and now I'll come here and search here SSMS. I'll click on this. Now, SQL Server Management Studio is open. So, this window authentication is selected and I will click on this connect and it will connect me to the database engine. Now, you can see here this database is tab. So, if I expand this, so these are the system databases. Now, if I want to create a database, so I'll right click on this new database and here I will get the database name as uh, Test DB and now I'll click OK to create this database. Now, if I expand this uh, test database that we have created, we have tables inside this. If I expand it, so we do not have any table because we haven't created any table. So I'll right click on this and new table. And now here I will create a column name. So I'll uh, create ID, make this end, and then I will create name and it will be worker 50 and then father name, if name, and it will also be worker 50. And I'll control S it and I'll name this test underscore TBA and I'll click OK and now you will see here a test TBL inside this if I right click on this and refresh this tables. Now you can see test tab. Now I can show you the design. So design. This is the design. So now we can add some uh, records into this. So I'll come here right click on this and edit top 200 rows. Put one and uh, here I will put the name uh, MIK and I'll put it here on and now when I click on in, in this uh, field or column. So this a record is saved so now if I right click on this and uh, select up 1000 rows so you will see that this record will be shown you can see one MIK and Han is shown here so this was the installation of SQL server on Windows 11 so I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you